So, sir, I have three years of real-time experience with the two companies. However, I laid off in 2023. Now, there is a gap. Same kind of question, 1.5 years. Okay. So, I'm thinking to show the lower annual and adding fake experience. Okay. But I have a question. During the background verification, there's a new company. So, whenever you have genuine experience, never ever go for fake experience. Okay. So this is a very important statement because fake experience is only for people who don't have any option. People who passed in 2017, 18 or 19, where they didn't enter into IT and they are learning so many courses, okay, but not getting option. For them, there is no option at all because no company give them a offer like a fresher. Right, if even they want to enter, okay, someone was scolding me saying I'm promoting propaganda of fake, okay. So, if in no company offers you as a fake, sorry, pressure, then how you enter? If I am 2018-19 passed out and if I, if I want to apply to a company as a fresher, will they approve me, first of all? They, they, they will only ask 2014-2024-25 freshers. There is no entry at all. So, for those kind of people, there is no option. So, that is the reason we need to go this way. Okay. So, when you have a genuine experience, never ever look for fake. Even though you have a gap, you just justify the gap with some reasons. Some family reasons, some health reasons, some, okay, anything. I was taking care of my father's business and all. Right? So, if you are in this one also, if you are technically good in that interview, they will not concentrate your gap, everything. Interviews only focus on technical part. Documentation part will come later once you clear the technical part. No one will ask you, you have a gap and all. They will schedule the interview and they will ask you why, why is the gap. And still they will schedule the interview. If you are clear with the technical interview, they don't ask anything, that's it. While documenting part, they may ask you, then you can give your own reasons. But now if you already have two years of experience and now on top of it you are putting 1.5 years of fake experience, there is a lot of Negativity will come here if something goes wrong. Never ever do it and it will spoil your entire career. Okay, fake experience is only when you don't have any option and you want to get an IT job. Okay, so I don't recommend it. Okay, keep go with the three years of experience only but be uh, very technically strong, clear the interviews, automatically you will get the job.